Teenage life through high school can be hell sometimes. This 16-year-old girl decided not to attend prom because of bullies. However, 120 bikers gathered at her house and did the unbelievable. Shannon Persifer had come home from school one day as usual, but today, her usually vibrant self was replaced with a heavy sadness. Concern etched across her mom Claire's face. She called out Shannon's name, but the response was just a heavy silence. Worried, Claire stepped into Shannon's room to find her daughter quietly sobbing in the corner. Without a word, she enveloped her in a warm embrace, wiping away the tears that stained Shannon's cheeks. What happened, sweetheart? Claire asked gently, urging Shannon to share her pain. In a trembling voice, Shannon confessed to her mother that she had been verbally bullied at school. Again, Claire's heart sank, but what shattered it was when Shannon declared she wouldn't be attending the upcoming prom night. The prom night had been a highly anticipated event between the duo, and Shannon's sudden change of mind was a heartbreaking one. Claire's mind went back to a few weeks ago, when her 16-year-old daughter had just returned home from school, eagerly sharing the news with her mother that her prom night was around the corner. Claire, touched by the joy in her daughter's voice, had given Shannon a warm hug. She had told her daughter that it would be the most magical night of her life, driven by a deep love for her daughter and a strong desire to create unforgettable moments. Claire had set out to make Shannon's special night truly magical. Excitement filled her as she went on a shopping spree, determined to find the ideal dress for her girl. Among the racks of dresses, she stumbled upon a stunning white gown that seemed like it was made for a princess. Despite the 470 pound price tag, Claire didn't hesitate. She was ready to do whatever it took to ensure her daughter's happiness. With the dress in hand, she pictured the enchanting aura Shannon would radiate at the prom. As soon as Claire arrived home from shopping, she excitedly presented the elegant gown to Shannon. The moment Shannon laid eyes on the dress, her face lit up with sheer joy, and she couldn't help but grin from ear to ear. Claire's heart swelled with happiness as she witnessed her daughter's genuine excitement. They both started getting pumped for prom night, imagining Shannon in that stunning gown. Filled with excitement, Shannon couldn't wait to try on the dress as her mom eagerly watched. The sight took both of them by surprise. Shannon looked absolutely stunning. The dress draped gracefully around her, turning her into a vision of elegance and radiance. Claire, overcome with pride and joy, grabbed her camera and insisted on capturing the moment. She directed Shannon to pose in various angles, snapping away to freeze these precious memories in time. As prom night approached, Shannon's usual excitement started to fade and it seemed like a cloud of sadness surrounded her. Each day, when she came home, she looked sadder than the day before, which was quite different from the excitement that used to light up her face. Claire, noticing the change in her daughter's mood, couldn't help but feel increasingly worried as the much-anticipated night drew near. Finally, the heartbreaking moment arrived on the day of the prom, when Shannon, with tears welling in her eyes, expressed that she couldn't bring herself to attend the event. Claire's heart was shattered at the realization that her daughter who had once been so eager for this night, now wanted nothing to do with it. The dream of seeing Shannon experience the joy and magic of her prom night crumbled before Claire's eyes. Claire, who had been eagerly looking forward to her daughter's prom night for weeks, felt the crushing weight of disappointment. The dress, purchased with so much love and excitement, now hung in Shannon's room like a bittersweet reminder of what could have been. Shannon's heartache and the relentless bullying had stolen the joy Claire had envisioned for her daughter on this special night. As Claire absorbed the harsh reality of Shannon's pain, she found herself deeply troubled by the tough choice her daughter had made. Claire understood that, despite her own aspirations for Shannon's prom night, the weight of bullying had become unbearable for her daughter. Shannon had opted to prioritize her own mental and emotional health over a night meant for happiness and revelry. In the midst of dealing with the usual ups and downs of being a teenager, Shannon Persifer faced challenges that went beyond her young years. At 16, she was grappling with rheumatoid arthritis, bowel disease, celiac, and ulcerative colitis, a tough lineup of health issues that made her daily life a real struggle. Living in the small town of Gosford, Hampshire, where she went to school, Shannon had to confront a harsh reality. 
bullies had been targeting her since elementary school, using her health conditions as a constant source of cruelty. This ongoing mistreatment took a toll on her self-esteem and confidence, and the impact was clearly felt. Even as she forged friendships with those who loved and accepted her, the bullies always found a way to pierce through, leaving scars on her emotional well-being. The torment escalated to the point where Shannon had to change her phone number, seeking refuge from the relentless harassment that invaded her personal space. In the lead-up to the highly anticipated prom, as students chatted eagerly about their glamorous night ahead, Shannon took comfort in the company of her friends. The warmth of their friendship provided a brief escape from the tough challenges she dealt with every day. During a shared moment of excitement, Shannon happily shared with her friends that her mom had given her a gorgeous white dress for the upcoming prom. Little did she realize that this innocent revelation would trigger another round of hurtful behavior. The bullies, always attuned to Shannon's vulnerability, overheard her conversation and seized the opportunity to inflict more pain. They taunted her mercilessly, making jest of her dress and tearing at the seams of her already fragile self-esteem. The callous remarks cut deep and Shannon, who had done nothing to deserve such indifference, found herself on the brink of tears. The bully's insensitivity and harsh verbal treatment left her wounded once again. On prom night, Shannon found herself at a crucial moment, torn between going or staying away. Deep down, she knew that attending the event would likely result in more suffering. The dress, once a source of optimism and joy, now hung in her closet, serving as a painful reminder of the hurtful comments that had crushed her spirit. Shannon's mother felt an overwhelming sense of sorrow as she processed the harsh reality her daughter faced. While high school had presented its own challenges during Claire's time, Shannon's struggles seemed more daunting. The realization that her daughter would not experience the joy of a beautiful prom night weighed heavily on Claire's heart. However, understanding that forcing or coaxing Shannon to attend the prom against her will would only add to her pain, Claire knew she had to respect her daughter's choice. In the quiet of their home, Claire retreated to the couch to look at the beautiful pictures she had taken of Shannon in her majestic white dress just days before. As she scrolled through the images, a wave of sadness washed over her. Feeling a need to share the beauty that Shannon embodied, Claire made a decision. With a heavy heart, she selected a few of the most enchanting photos and crafted a caption that spoke of both the dream that had been shattered and the strength her daughter possessed. She wrote, if Shannon had gone to prom tonight, she would have worn this beautiful dress. Thanks to the nasty, vile bullies, Shannon decided she didn't want to go. The words echoed with the pain of a mother witnessing her daughter's dreams crumble under the weight of cruelty. Claire concluded the captions with a poignant reflection on Shannon's resilience and strength, acknowledging the myriad health challenges she faced. For a girl that has had so much to deal with in life, celiac disease, ulcerative colitis, and rheumatoid arthritis, she is one strong young lady with an even stronger mind. The online post was a virtual tribute to Shannon's courage and an expression of a mother's love for her daughter. To Claire's surprise, the online post resonated with the hearts of thousands across the internet. The adorable images of Shannon, a 16-year-old who had missed the love and affection she deserved from her classmates, struck a chord with many. The collective outrage and empathy swirled. It became a rallying cry against bullying, with people from various corners of the online world expressing their support for the young girl who had missed her once-in-a-lifetime prom night due to the cruelty of her peers. Among the countless individuals touched by Shannon's story was the Go Sports Scooter Club, a biker organization that felt a deep connection to her predicament. In an act of compassion, they decided to rewrite Shannon's narrative. Instead of a traditional school event, they envisioned and planned a dazzling biker ball for her, a gesture that would give Shannon another chance to experience an unforgettable night. The members of the Go Sports Scooter Club took it upon themselves to organize an alternative prom for her. As the news of the alternative prom spread, an online campaign took shape. A GoFundMe page was created and the community rallied together to raise the necessary funds for Shannon's special event. The outpouring of generosity from both familiar faces and strangers 
spoke volumes of the unity that could arise in the face of adversity. Shannon and her mom, Claire, were overwhelmed by the outpouring of support from strangers who wanted to make Shannon feel better. The kindness of these individuals, who had never met Shannon but were touched by her story, left both mother and daughter in a state of shock. The realization that so many people were rallying behind Shannon to create a special prom night in her honor was truly profound. As the day for Shannon's alternative prom approached, she found herself in for more surprises. That morning, she received unexpected visitors who came armed with brushes, hair dryers, and makeup palettes. Their mission was clear, to pamper Shannon and make her feel like the princess she truly was. The atmosphere in the room transformed into a haven of beauty and excitement as Shannon sat in anticipation, surrounded by those who were determined to make her special night truly unforgettable. The transformation began as skilled hands worked their magic on Shannon's nails, hair, and makeup. Shannon, who had been weighed down by the cruelty of her peers and the disappointment of missing her own prom, now found herself supported by a community of strangers who were going the extra mile to bring joy back into her life. The moment Shannon caught a glimpse of herself in the mirror, she was rendered speechless. The reflection staring back at her was a vision of beauty that surpassed her wildest dreams. The intricate details of her nails, the artistry in her hair, and the radiant glow of her makeup all combined to create a stunning image. Shannon couldn't believe that this magical transformation was happening to her, and the emotions that welled up within her were a mixture of gratitude, disbelief, and joy. For Claire, Witnessing her daughter's metamorphosis was an emotional experience. The tears that welled up in her eyes were not only a testament to the love she felt for Shannon, but also a release of the pent-up emotions accumulated during the challenging journey they had faced together. The sight of her daughter radiating confidence and beauty filled Claire's heart with an overwhelming sense of pride and joy. As Shannon and her mom prepared for the special prom organized by the Go Sport Scooter Club, more surprises awaited them. While Shannon knew the biker organization had spearheaded the event, she had no inkling of the grand show of support that was about to unfold. Fully dressed and ready to head to the venue, Shannon and her mom were drawn to a thunderous noise outside. As they peeked out of the window, they were astounded to see 120 bikers all members of the Go Sport Scooter Club waiting to escort Shannon to the prom. The unexpected show of solidarity overwhelmed both mother and daughter, prompting tears of happiness to stream down their faces. As Shannon stepped outside to embark on her ride to the venue, the 120 bikers greeted her with enthusiastic chants and applause. Complimenting her beauty, they snapped pictures of Shannon turning the simple exit from her apartment into a paparazzi moment like she was a celebrity. The unexpected paparazzi-style reception continued as Shannon approached a three-wheeled bike ready to be escorted by the 120 bikers who temporarily had the city on lockdown due to their overwhelming numbers. Shannon felt an unparalleled sense of security and love as they set off toward the venue, the roar of the bikes echoing their support. Arriving at the enchanting venue, Shannon was captivated by the magical decorations that surpassed anything she could have imagined. The atmosphere was filled with love and support, not only from the bikers, but also from family, friends, and even strangers who had come to show their solidarity. Lost in the beauty of the moment, Shannon felt a tap on her shoulder, and, turning around, she was met with the comforting presence of her boyfriend, Lee Younger. The event kicked off, and finally, Shannon had the chance to dance in the 470-pound, beautiful white dress her mom had purchased for her. Among the attendees were friends from school who had never bullied her, ensuring she felt safe and surrounded by genuine support. The 120 bikers, who had arrived in full force, added to the joyous atmosphere, along with family members, including Shannon's stepdad Kevin Karstens, brothers Alex and Brandon, and four-year-old sister Freya. 
One of the most special moments of the evening came when Shannon was given a corsage to wear, carrying a picture of her late father, Daniel Persifer. A Royal Navy Petty Officer, he had passed away in Germany in 2007 at the age of 28. The gesture served as a touching tribute to Shannon's father. As the special prom night organized by the bikers came to an end, Shannon couldn't help but admit that it surpassed the expectation she had for the traditional school prom night she had missed. The fleet of bikers who had rallied to her rescue turned the evening into a triumphant celebration, effectively sticking two fingers up at the bullies who had tormented her for the past 18 months. After the event, Shannon, filled with gratitude, took to her social media along with her mom to express heartfelt thanks to everyone who had played a part in making the night so special. The special prom night transformed the young woman into more than just a recipient of support. Her story resonated globally, turning her into an ambassador for those who faced bullying and shared similar medical conditions. The event became a platform for raising awareness about these conditions and sending a powerful message of resilience. As Shannon prepared to embark on the next chapter of her life, starting college in the autumn, she grappled with up to five tablets a day to manage her illnesses, including rheumatoid arthritis. The challenges she faced served as a reminder that, despite the hardships, she had emerged stronger and with a newfound purpose. In the end, Shannon's story proved that there were still good people in the world willing to go to great lengths to bring smiles to faces and comfort to hearts. Her mother, Claire, who had only wanted the best for her daughter, unintentionally became part of a larger narrative of kindness, proving that sometimes unexpected events can lead to outcomes that surpass even the most heartfelt wishes. What a nice story. Did Shannon's story evoke any specific emotions or memories related to social events or gatherings in your own life? Feel free to share your thoughts and memories in the comments section.